The family of a man who died in Thornton still wants answers about what happened. A motorcyclist found him unconscious in the middle of a busy intersection last month. Nine News reporter Rhea Jaw spoke with the family who spent tonight remembering him. Rhea. I'm at the intersection where 22 year old Rayvon Lewis was found and this is a busy street and with all this traffic coming in and out, the family who is still here from a memorial they set up for him earlier today is wondering why there is no information on what happened. The intersection of Washington Street and 88th Avenue is one Carolina Lewis drives by all the time, but she never thought she and her family would be walking towards it, holding mementos for her 22 year old son, Rayvon Lewis. This hurts. I, I don't even believe that I'm doing this today. Rayvon's cousin Janine Islas and other family members helped set up a vigil for him, marking almost one month since his death. The blue is to represent the Dallas Cowboys because he likes the Dallas Cowboys and he actually picked that up from his father. The memorial just a few feet away from where Rayvon was found in the street on May 4th. He was actually found right here. Not this first lane, but the second lane. He was actually found right here. By the time they came, he was brain dead. It was a shock. It was a complete shock because he didn't hang around a bunch of people. He didn't have a bunch of friends. Police say Rayvon possibly fell from the back of a truck. Doctors told family members he suffered multiple blunt force injuries to the back of his head. No road rash on his body. There's no consistency with him falling out of a truck. The family says there are still no witnesses and police are still looking for the motorcyclist who called 911 and left the scene. We want justice. We want to know what happened. We want to know why his life was taken the way it was. He didn't deserve to, to die like that in the street. While the family doesn't know the full story. You got one? What color you want? They know they will continue to share his. We reached out to Thornton police for an update on the investigation, but we haven't heard back yet. The family is still waiting on an autopsy report for an official cause of death for Rayvon, but they are continuing to ask anyone with information on what happened to come forward. Reporting live in Thornton, Rhea Cha, 9 News. Rhea, thank you.